today I'm playing Justin Fields' Steelers career, and if he doesn't win at least one Super Bowl by the day he retires, I have to buy his jersey and wear it in a video. I'm getting married soon, dude. Like, I can't be wasting my money, especially on a jersey for a potential backup quarterback, which he does begin his brand new journey as a 77 overall, but he's still only 24 years old. Russell is only one overall higher than him, so he could potentially become the starter in his first season. I have a feeling, though, this offense is probably going to be pretty trash. At least the defense should still be good, though. I'm not expecting much in year one, but let's see if throughout the season, at least he becomes the starter. And to my complete surprise, the Steelers go 12-5 and five and make the playoffs. They had a top 10 offense and a top 5 defense. So the main question is, who actually started the quarterback? It was Russell Wilson all season long. But he threw for a lot of yards, but also a lot of interceptions. No big deal, just Najee Harris breaking out for uh, 24 rushing touchdowns. When in the world did Pat Fryermuth and Calvin Austin both become 1,000-yard receivers? As long as Justin Fields stays a stealer, like, his defense is definitely gonna carry him. Now, Justin has got to win the Super Bowl as a starter for it to count for today's challenge, so even if they win it here, it doesn't really count because he's not playing. They beat the Bills. What on earth? is going on. Russell Wilson is balling the heck out. Surely though, they don't beat the Chiefs as I expected. I mean, they still gave him a pretty impressive run for their money. And it looks like they did give him a really small contract extension. Well, I feel like with this offseason, Russell Wilson will probably progress and I'm pretty certain you'll see Justin Fields as the Pittsburgh Steelers starter next year. Hopefully though, they give him some better overall weapons to throw to. How unfortunate we came in 10th place for Coach of the Year voting. We should have won the award winning 12 games with that team. Oh wow, the Chiefs win their third consecutive Super Bowl. To my surprise, zero Steelers retired. But most importantly, do we gotta see how much Russell Wilson regressed? All the way down to a 75 overall. So that should mean Justin Fields should be the starter this next year. And he's still 25, so there's plenty of career for him to win a Super Bowl. We just hope for Justin's sake that the front office puts together a solid offseason. So after that season, rightfully so, they picked up Najee's fifth-year option. They signed Juwan Jennings to a pretty fat contract. They also signed Josh Reynolds to a fat contract. Like, we not took that money and actually given it to a better quality receiver instead of two kind of mid guys. I mean, outside of George Pickens, that core is just so average, it's insane. Well, after that, hope they can actually draft a good receiver here. And to be fair, that is actually a pretty quality draft class. They did get Malachi Corley in the second round, who is a pretty solid receiver. Now, I guess heading into next week is where we really will see if they name Justin Fields the starter or not. Now, for the moment of truth, Justin Fields is your 2025 Steelers starter. Let's see if Pittsburgh can make it back to the playoffs for a second consecutive season, but with this time as Justin Fields as the starter. Well, that's quite the disappointment. So not very successful in Justin Fields' first season as the starter, but to be fair, this was a very, very tough decision, and they barely missed the playoffs. So at least maybe the future's bright. I mean, they had a top five offense in the league. Defensively, they fell backwards a little bit. I mean, my god, dude, that's actually quite a bit better than what Russell Wilson put up last year, and, and how'd they win three less games? Definitely a step backwards from Najee, I guess that's why. But Fields did put up pretty decent numbers on the ground too. And again, two 1,000 yard receivers with one of them being Malachi Corley, their rookie. Like he had to have won rookie of the year with those numbers, right? No, beat out by some guy named Marvin Harrison Jr. But the lone positive from this season is the fact that Justin Fields actually got some MVP votes. But at least Fields did improve up to an 80 overall, which puts him at about the 18th best quarterback in the league currently. I just want to know how in the world with Najee Harris is up to a 90 overall running back. I mean, if they could just add like one more star receiver to this team instead of just a bunch of guys about with the same talent, like this offense really could be taken to the next level, especially considering this defense being a 91 overall. Here's to hoping for a solid offseason. There goes Derrick Henry and the Ravens winning a Super Bowl. Still no retiree, so I guess Russell's fine with being a backup. And to my complete surprise, Justin Fields did actually actually progressed to superstar. So this is a great start to the offseason. And not only that, he had his tight end Pat Fryermuth actually improved his superstar X Factor. So he's probably his best weapon. And for some really strange reason, 
95 overall, Minka Fitzpatrick went down the store. I just want some better pass catchers this offseason. Oh, no. Not a single signing. All we did was give a much worse Cam Hayward 18 million. At this point, just hope this is an A-tier draft class. I mean, that's not awful, but like, why are we wasting a pick on Carson Beck? Officially in the next season, hopefully this year, Justin can lead this team to the playoffs. Well, this is very anticlimactic. This screen either means we got the one seed or just completely missed the playoffs once again. What in the world? What in the world? Hold on, hold on a second. I got to uh I got to process that information real quick. This team just went 16 and 1. What are we like what's going on? So many close victories too. Like so many 3-point wins that we got this season and our only loss was by 3 points. Like we were 3 points away from going 17 and 0. Like I don't think you guys understand how wild this is. And after all that, the backup quarterbacks the one with the up Great. Had the second best offense in the entire league. Defensively, we're back to being a top 10 unit again. Justin Fields, have a season, brother. 31 touchdowns to only 8 picks with 4,300 passing yards. Now run the football. There goes Najee again. Sub 10 year 2, then back up to 24 in year 3. Justin Fields added a nice 400 yards on the ground. And again, two 1,000 yard receivers. Those numbers were good for Justin Fields to come in 6th place in MVP voting. And unless something went terribly wrong, we won coach of the year. That brought Justin all the way up to an 84 overall and is now a top 15 ranked quarterback. Now I am curious to see where he is with his contract. They've already gave him a fat six year deal and they actually got him for relatively cheap. So he at least is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers starter until the new decade. I still can't believe they didn't play him in year one. After all of that watch this team lose their first playoff game. Which that game is going to come against. The Las Vegas Raiders, who somehow beat Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs by two touchdowns. Like, they might actually beat us here. Nah, we get the win. All we have to do is beat the Patriots? And you love to see that extra upgrade for Justin. There's no way, though, after this insane, insane run of a season, they lose to the 9-8 and eight Patriots, one game shy of the Super Bowl. That would be the biggest heartbreak of all time. What in the world? There's just no way that just happened. After all of that, dude, we lose 7 to 6. Oh, Justin had a stinker. How did we only score 6 points all game long? Ended up being the Niners to win it anyway, but my god, dude, talk about a freaking heartbreak. And Justin lost his mentor too. Now, the team almost has $80 million to spend this offseason, so hopefully they put that money to good use. Did notice Najee Harris improved to an X Factor. I Smith is now an X Factor, but Cameron Hayward is now normal. Now, please go spend the big bucks here. We signed one player. What on earth are we doing? Oh, uh, this front office has some sort of vendetta against Justin Fields, apparently. We were two points away from making the Super Bowl, so let's not spend any of our 60 million available dollars to improve the team. Even the draft class was nothing but garbage. I'm just full sending it to the end of this next season. Like, I just struggle to believe there's a shot that we go 16-1 again. So I feel like no matter what happens this year, it's gonna be a massive disappointment unless we actually win the Super Bowl. 16 of 1 just sets pretty high expectations. I mean, you can't be too mad at an 11 and 6 year. I'm sure they would definitely like to have that first round buyback, though. Well, this year they had the number one offense in the league. Now, defensively, they're number two. How do we win less games? We were so close to having the best offense and the best defense in the league. We might have a worse record than last year, but we might actually have a better shot of winning it all. Now, that's a pretty wild season there. Definitely threw more picks and completed less passes passes, but you can't be too angry at a guy for leading the league in passing yards. Not quite the 24 touchdowns from a season ago, but still pretty effective with Fields adding about 350 yards on the ground. I am kind of surprised, though. He hasn't ran for more yards. They had three 1,000-yard receivers this season. I just wish this team would add one more quality receiver, and this offense could go nuclear. I mean, they were already the top offense in the league, but you get the point. I guess Justin Fields threw too many interceptions to get a single MVP vote, and he did improve this 
season up to an 87 overall. Now, having almost the best offense and defense in the NFL, let's see if they go out and get first round to buy a division rival. And they don't. They actually grab a touchdown dub in Cincinnati. But now they have to go and beat the Buffalo freaking Bills. And to my surprise, dude, they get a major dub. Beating the Bills by 17 in January in Buffalo is wild. What a game from Justin. But even though that is an incredible feat, the bad news here is that we have to travel to Kansas City as our last stop before the Super Bowl. And I will go ahead and admit, I will be so shocked if we actually find a way to win this game. Oh my god! Dude, there's just no way we went through Buffalo and Kansas City. Our defense again, dude, two straight games has held the opponent to under 300 yards. But Fields again, dude, five passing touchdowns, no interceptions, was able to ball out even even though the running game didn't do much, George Pickens and Malachi Corley go in the freak off. And the final enemy standing in front of a Super Bowl win for Justin Fields is the one seed Vikings. This quarterback at this point apparently is youngster, young rookie Christian Short. Making the Super Bowl as a rookie is actually so wild. A win here would actually keep yours truly from having to waste his money on a Justin Fields jersey. I'd use that money on my honeymoon instead. Oh, dude. Here we freaking go. The click of a button will reveal all. Early start. Oh, no. The guy stopped his work. Hey, no points scored so far. This is a weird low scoring game. We take the lead 14 to nothing. Vikings strike get a field goal before halftime. They cut it to a one possession game. No longer 21 to 6. Fellas, it might be over. The Steelers in Justin Fields in dominating fashion. 35 to 14 are your Super Bowl champions, which officially means I get to save my money. Soak it in, Steelers fans. Because with the offense that you've had to witness over the last few years, apparently you're in for a pretty solid future. Didn't throw for many yards, but was effective when he had to and threw three touchdowns to no picks. Why do we have Darnell Washington throwing passes in the Super Bowl? But seriously though, what an epic Super Bowl run. Burrow in Cincinnati blew out Josh Allen and the Bills in Buffalo. Pretty much blew out the Chiefs in Kansas City. And then destroyed the one seed Vikings. Not to mention this man just improved a superstar X Factor. This man's career is just getting started. Like legitimately, this really might be the beginning of a freaking dynasty. And to my surprise, they actually spent some money this offseason. Some pretty decent contracts with Unfortunately, we had one of our captains retire. But they'll keep moving forward and hopefully make Cameron proud. Now, surely they'll compile a better draft class than last year's. At least they got a stud receiver in the first round. It's got 95 speed as a rookie. Like, with this team improving with how good they already were last year, like, they have a really good chance to go back to back. With this being Madden, dude, watch them not even make the playoffs. I mean, 13 and 4 with the first round bye isn't too shabby. Not the best offense in the league this year, but we'll have to settle for third. And the defense did take a little step backwards this year. Now, Justin Fields with a career season of 45 touchdowns to 12 picks. Like, that might be MVP numbers, especially considering he added another 370 yards on the ground. And our receiving core has so much potential now, dude. Like, all these guys are young. We had our rookie draft pick with 16 receiving touchdowns, not to mention our tight end with another 10. How did Justin Fields come in sixth place? That makes Makes no sense. At least we did have the rookie of the year. And Fields did officially crack 90 overall, which now has him 15th in the league still. There's no way. There's 15 quarterbacks above 90 overall. Now, the first time we had a first round bye, that didn't go way too well for us. And why do I get the feeling that the Bills are going to get revenge for last year? We get this game at home and we lose. Ah, uh, dude, I just had a feeling. Fellas, following that bit of disappointment, what we're going to do now is go ahead and simulate to the end of Justin Fields' contract with the Steelers. And at that moment, we'll see if he stays in Pittsburgh for another contract or see if he decides to continue his career elsewhere. And who knows, maybe the Steelers will win another Super Bowl or two. Well, safe to say they didn't make the playoffs in 2030. Offense sucks at this point. Justin's still above 90 overall, but he did lose his X-Factor. Now, I'm kind of curious to see whether or not he's already signed a new contract. And it looks like he 
did sign another two-year deal to at least be a Steeler for a little bit longer. I mean, the offense still has some talented receivers. The running game probably sucks, though. And this defense looks completely different. And unfortunately, it looks like no Super Bowls the last few years. I mean, it's not like Fields has played bad or anything. He did regress by just one single overall this offseason. And I would love to point out the fact that Trevor Lawrence and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers literally just completed a three-peat. Well, at this point, I guess it's time to see if Justin Fields can at least win one more Super Bowl before his contract expires. Got two more seasons to do so. Well, they're definitely not winning it in 2032. Didn't win it last year either. The Bucks just won their fourth in five seasons. Hold on. Hold on a second. I am perplexed. How did we get here? How? What in the heck is going on? Why is Patrick Mahomes the starting quarterback of the Steelers? Like, when did this happen? He's been the quarterback the past two seasons. I thought Fields signed an extension. We both saw that. Where the heck did Justin Fields go? He's a Cardinal. When in the world did this happen? He was the backup for the Steelers last year because they signed Mahomes. That is malpractice. Which he's only under contract to be a Cardinal for one more season. Which they almost made the playoffs this last year. Which honestly... Honestly, he doesn't have a great plethora of weapons here. Good offensive line, though. And apparently a set of identical twins on the left side of the line. I mean, their defense has got some talent. Can Justin Fields take the Cardinals to the promised land this season? No, he brought them to the playoffs somehow. Even led them to a top 10 offense? I mean, that's not too shabby. And he's still an 85 overall as a 34-year-old quarterback. Now, let's see if he can actually get himself another ring. No. And to make it even worse for him, look what team made the Super Bowl, and they won it too. I'm interested to see if he went ahead and called it quits this offseason. Trey McBride did, but Fields didn't apparently. He hadn't signed a contract extension, so we're gonna have to see who he actually plays for next season. Well, fellas, it definitely looks like the Cardinals went in another direction. His journey continues as a New York Jet. He joins a roster that doesn't have at this point much superstar talent, although they have, you know, a lot of quality. There's no real superstars. Let's see if he can lead the Jets to the playoffs now. Well, apparently that didn't work. I mean, he still had a good season, though. Crazy to me that Brees Hall is still the starting running back as a 33-year-old. But I am interested to see after that disappointing season if Fields finally calls it quits, because, I mean, he is like 35-36 now. Brees retired, but apparently not Justin, who's officially regressed to an 80 overall. I got the feeling he's not gonna be a Jet again next year, and I was correct in that assessment. Where the heck did Justin end up? Our guy's officially a Buffalo Bill. Which he is apparently the starter because they no longer have Josh Allen, but I feel like this could be his last year as the number one. Josh is on the Chiefs. That is so funny. I definitely don't think 5-12 and 12 is what Justin Fields imagined. Oh, wow. They didn't even start him. They gave the young guy the job. That's insane. This might be the year where he finally calls it quits. And fellas, after 15 long seasons in the National Football League, Justin Fields finally decide to call it quits. But he was able to put together a very interesting, yet at the same time successful career, which also included Justin hoisting that Lombardi trophy. Sure, Steelers fans are excited about this one. Now, hopefully you enjoyed that one, and if you did, you can click right here to watch me play through Derrick Henry's Ravens career, which is also pretty freaking insane. And if you haven't clicked to start watching this video just yet, if you could like this video and subscribe, that would make me smile.